Hi there. I'm going to do a little video of uh, putting a uh, um, metal kit together, loco, of a phototype Deltic, and they're not easy to do, but um, this one is not an MTK kit. Um, it's an A1 kit, if I remember. So here we go. I was going to try to actually show you me soldering this, but it's a really hard job to do this on my own. So I'm going to solder this one anyway. And best thing to do is just put a, a little tag first to get it in the right place. Once it's in the right place, you can solder the whole thing then. So, that's it's cooled down now. Just to make sure it's in the right place. I don't know if you can see that, but I've just put a little tack there. So, once I'm happy with that, make sure it's all nice and square. Now that I've got this in the position I want, I'm going to continue to solder this right the way through the side. A bit more solder on there. Plenty strong enough to hold that. I think that's cooled down enough. fine to me. You look at that now. And it's nice and square. And we'll just need cleaning off. So oh, there's the first soldering I've done. And now I do the other end. Well that's both ends soldered now on the side. Okay, I've now put a little tack on the end so that it holds the end. It's in the correct position on one end and then I'm going to assemble the whole front and back and the other side and then I'll do the roof last. But I will put the roof on etc just to make sure it's square when I do it. Okay, now I've actually soldered all four corners with tacks and it's all nice and square level flush at the sides and nice and straight right the way through so I used this just to support the center of the body as I soldered the ends and to stop it from dipping with the weight but uh, so far looking good I had to file all these body parts including these lobes that were here um, and clean up all the edges obviously to make it solder nicely together and I've actually got my soldering iron about halfway because this is a temperature one and um, obviously low melting solder so you don't melt the body and going together quite well now. Okay, I've put the front on in a rough position and I've supported it by the box. So the loco's upside down, sitting on the end. And I'm just gonna put a tack at the bottom, right at the front in that corner. And um, then I will position it correctly and then solder it. Well, I've soldered one end on now and it's a real job to do it, but as you can see, I soldered it all in there. So now I'll do the other end. Well, after a lot of struggling, 
I've managed to get it together as best I could. It's still a little bit out of shape, but I should be able to twist it a little bit just to get it in its right shape that I'm happy with. And I shall put a little bit of filler and stuff in these gaps. I could fill it with solder, but I'm going to do it with filler now because I've actually soldered the whole body up now in quite a good way. And it's actually very strong now. So, yeah. It wasn't an easy job. But now it's actually not a bad body. And once it's cleaned up and painted, I'm sure that it'll make a great loco. Well, there we go. That's it so far. Well, that was my video of trying to put this kit together and now I've got to finish it and paint it all and fit a chassis in it. I'm going to put a Hornby 00 chassis in it um, to make it run on my Hornby 00 layout and hopefully it should be quite good when it's done. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that and if you want to see more, subscribe and thumbs up would be appreciated. Bye for now.